What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. We have a new one on our list. This car, Tyler, has no shame. The five hosts of beating, finding his pants. Okay, well, can we check this out? Let's get right into it. It is time to play everyone's favorite game. Does Jessica Tarloff have a brain? This is a man who easily found his pants this morning. And I'll let you guys guess down in the comments below. Welcome to the gun range. This is Doug in Exile. Oh! Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tanapel. This is where all the happy patriots are. As Jessica Tarlov still tries to explain that, convince you that Biden is okay and energetic. Democrats are really concerned about this. It, the age issue was not partisan. It was across the board. And it has been the main storyline for the last three to four weeks of coverage. So Jessica is saying that the age issue was a big issue. You're older than you've ever been, and now you're even older. And now, is she saying it's not so big of an issue? Watch this. And we were talking about this earlier in the week that I believe the New Yorker interview was him taking control of the campaign again and saying to his aides that want to keep him hidden away, I can do this. I'm the guy that beat him and I will do it again. But is Biden capable of knowing that he is able to do this? That is when someone that is, is a question. it's like asking a drunk driver if he can drive himself home. Are you OK? And they're like, give me the keys. I'm OK. I love you. I always love you, man. Give me them keys. It's like, you know, maybe Biden is not the person you ask if he's OK enough to campaign. So the age issue is not gone for Biden. Last time I checked, you only get older. And even now, I'm only older. Now you're even older. And now you're even older. And now I'm older still. And now you're older still. See how that works? So will every day look like that? Absolutely not. He's going to have some stumbles. He's going to have some Joe Biden moments. And you ain't black. This is our president. And you ain't black. And you ain't black. He's going to stare through the screen and probably fall into a coma. Slip and fall off the stage, <laughs> heaven forbid. Uh, it can go south. Then if they ever run out of amphetamines to give to Joe Biden before a speech, then his campaign's going to come up pretty short, pretty quick also. But he needed that and we needed that. And mm -hmm. I think it is important putting aside whatever their political preferences might be. And obviously we showed some hosts who are openly partisan in this, but even reporters were leading with this story because it was what was taking over the American psyche, that they were saying we can't have this guy again because of the age issue or the competency issue. That's going to lessen as an issue. No, uh, lessen, I don't think so. I People think so are still going to say, you know, I prefer not to have a guy that's on the borderline of complete incompetence. Mm -hmm. Jessica Tarloff did say uh, we needed this. And we needed that. We needed this. We needed to show that he could show up and not just fall into a coma. And we needed that. You know, the bar is set so low on it. Biden that if he walks across the stage, everyone goes, yay, give him a participation trophy. You did it. And we needed that. You survived walking across the stage, Joe. Well, it's a proof of life speech, right? That's what it was. Is that I'm, I'm alive and I'm able to give a speech that I can read off a teleprompter. Slurring. We have a new nickname for him. It's Slurry Joe. As he slurs his words, so slurry Joe. People ever say, like, 81 is my target age for a really great president. But they will say that this is a man who easily found his pants this morning. And that's, you know, Greg's point about lowering well, the bar so far. Did she just say that he easily found his pants? This is a man who easily found his pants this morning. That's the new, he's a genius. He's capable of taking on the world, Joe Biden. <laughs> Can you imagine that being his campaign, uh, like the big movie poster of his life? Joe Biden, he found his pants, pants this, this morning. morning. <laughs> Tonight on Where Are My Pants. Where are my pants? Where are my pants? He did talk about January 6th, though. He did, and but there was but January 6th, election, you know. people who stormed the Capitol are different than 
the average Trump voter. And that's something that Trump voters have been screaming from the rooftops. Uh, that's not entirely true that Biden is making a difference now between the people who stormed the Capitol and what he, he calls mega mega Republicans. You know, it was just a handful of people who stormed the Capitol. And we're unaware of how many of them committed crimes or not. So it's less than public. But Biden did not mind, and Hillary also, calling all everyone on the right mega, mega Republicans and deplorables, the kind of play, people that are divisive and stuff, which is wrong. He means me. He means people like me on what I believe about traditional marriage, on what I believe about the sanctity of human life, on what I believe about closing the border, the Second Amendment, free speech. He means me that I'm dangerous. I know Biden. He means half of America. We were sitting at home on that day, or we were peaceful, and then we went home. We but didn't they, come they, in. They with feel like eyes. they get all lumped together. Many they of them. I know, like but that's, I'm saying that I happens. think it was an olive branch to not only Nikki Haley's supporters, the independents and the moderates, but the people who really believe in Donald Trump and his policies, but are not storming the Capitol or acting violently. She don't yeah, believe that. The ones who storm the Capitol are the ones uh, that Rashida Tlaib brought in and she got nothing. She did not get in trouble the way Trump got nailed for insurrection. The ones that are violent are the ones that are doing smash and grab and rioting, the Palestinians rioting, storming the uh, White House, tearing down the gates, abandoning Washington, D.C., uh, taking over the Brooklyn Bridge. That's your party, not the mega mega Republicans. It was definitely flatter okay. than, or less aggressive than we have seen before. Okay. Well, a lot of people thought last night was aggressive. So does he now agree to do debates? Oh no! Oh no! No no! He's not doing debates. Joe Biden's not doing debates unless they can keep him jacked up with those amphetamines. There's no way unless he's on speed is he going to do a debate. And he's not coherent. This is a speech that he read. Okay. He he read a speech five times. And then he goes and he performs it. That's different than thinking live with your mind to an opponent and going back and forth with them. They are not having Joe Biden debate Trump. Uh, we might have to start placing mo money bets on this. What do you guys think? Yes or no in the comments below. Do they let Biden debate? I don't think they even let Biden run. I'm Doug in exile. Like, this is an embarrassment every time. Like... The funny thing is, she knows. They're just trying to play the political game of like, he's well, he's all right, he found his pants this morning. Like, what the hell are you saying? You know he's not fit for the job, but you, you want to cover it because of political party? You want the Democrats to keep staying? You don't want Donald Trump to come? You don't want Donald Trump to stand? So you just want Biden to be there, even if he's not fit, it should be the face. It's exactly, this is political game she's playing right there. She knows he's not fit. She knows he can't debate. She knows he's not all right. There's something wrong. He stumbles every time she knows that. He said that it's just a normal flaw. We should, get, we should get used to it. Like the entire world is seeing him. The entire world is laughing at the United States right now. Because I feel like we don't have a good president. We don't have someone who's at fit. We don't have someone who's, who's thinking straight. Not people thinking for him. He's thinking straight. He knows what he's doing. We should fix it. <clears throat> we should not wait for more years for him to come away again. We know there's something wrong with him. We know he's not fit for the job. We should take him out. But no, they're trying to play the political game. No, Democrats should keep ruling. Democrats should be in power. She just keep on lying, 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 lying. She knows the truth. She's hiding it. She just don't want to speak out the truth. She knows Joe Biden is not fit for the job, but she can't admit it. Why is a political game? They, they keep on playing this game for us. They keep on playing this game every single time. We are not blind. We are seeing him. He's talking to himself sometimes. It's funny. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Go subscribe to Doug and Ezai. He's really good. He's good at analyzing, breaking down the videos, breaking down the news for us to understand it more better. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all